HR LD Direct AC driver provide cost-effective, high-performance and multiple dimming capability within a very small form factor LED solution. Hi, I'm Yong An, new business development manager for Fechao Offline Power Business Unit. Current LD design based on switch mode power supply can be expensive, requiring many components and may not provide the long lifetime required for today LED designs. Fechao LED Direct AC Driver is the industry most cost-effective integrated solution for driving solid-state lighting with high PF and low THD. It can be used in commercial, and industrial lighting applications such as downlight, bay light, street light, tunnel light, and other outdoor lighting. Today, we'll look at the performance of the high power product in our AC Direct Driver family, FL77944, which is capable of up to 18 watts power and its multiple dimming capability. Here's a 12 watt downlight reference design boot based on FL77944. The driver IC is located on the same PCB as the LED enabling a compact design. As you can see here, there are no electrolytic capacitor. I will now connect this volt to an AC power source, a power meter, a differential voltage probe and a current probe so that we can look at the operating waveform as well as PF and THD performance. The volt is fed with 120 volt, typical of North American line voltage. Channel 1 of the oscilloscope is the input AC voltage while channel 2 is the input current. As the AC input voltage rises from the zero crossing point all the way up to the peak, the LED current will communicate through four internal regulator switch within the driver IC. So there are four steps in the input current waveform within each half of the input voltage. Notice that the input voltage and current are actually in phase and the current waveform is close to a sinusoid which gives you high PF and low THD performance. Now let us look at the reading from the power meter. As you can see, the board achieved PF greater than 0.9 and the THD is below 20%, meeting the requirement for commercial and industrial lighting application. Now, a closer look at the dimming capability, which include analog dimming, PWM dimming and face cut dimming. The board has been now connected to a leading edge type face cut dimmer to see how the brightness changes from low to high face angle. The face cut dimmer chops up the 120 volt input light voltage from the AC power source before feeding it onto the LED board. Passive resistor and capacitor bleeder has actually been added across the input of brake rectifier on this reference design board to ensure stable dimmer operation. As you can see, the brightness changes smoothly as the phase angle varies and there is no visible flicker even at the low phase angle. Next, we have a DC dimmer which, is, which will now inject a signal between 0 to 10 volt to the dimming pin on the reference design volt so that we can see the analog dimming performance of our solution. As you can see, the light output varies linearly from high to low level. For PWM dimming operation, we recommend that the dimming signal to be fed through an RC filter so that the signal is actually converted to a DC before we fed it to the driver IC. Its dimming performance will thereby be similar to analog dimming. Our solution gives the best in class dimming performance with high linearity dimming curve, making it well suited for smart connected lighting. Now I'd like to show you a fetch out solution for low fit clicker index. For commercial and industrial application, our solution can be tuned to meet specific requirements. By adding a network of capacitor, resistor and diode across each of the LED string, energy is stored that enables the LED to be activated even if the AC input voltage is low. The diode prevents recirculation of energy from capacitor back to the AC input line, thereby preserving the excellent PF and THD performance. Here's a 12 watt downlight board that has been tuned for low flickers below 0.1. The boards are fitted with surface mount aluminum electrolytic capacitor across each of the LED strings. The capacitor is selected due to its low profile and less shadow effect to the light output. The board is now connected to the AC power source, power meter, differential voltage probe and a current probe so that we can see its operating waveform 
as well as the PF and THD performance. The oscilloscope showed the waveform of the 120 volt AC voltage and the input current to the bulb. Again, channel 1 is the input voltage and channel 2 is the input current. As you can see, the input voltage and current are still in phase, even with the additional energy storage network added across the LED string. And the current waveform is also close to a sine wave, thereby giving you high PF and low THD performance. Let's have a look at the reading on the power meter. PF is still greater than 0 0.9, and THD is still less than 20% on this bulb. So low flicker index has actually been achieved with minimal degradation of PF and THD performance. For the AC Direct Drive family, we offer several complete reference designs. For this, along with sample and design resources, please visit Fairchild website at fairchildsemi.com forward slash directacdrive. Thank you for your time today.